What's up everybody? Today in this video, I'm gonna break down the real cost of living for Rockville, Maryland. I'm not just talking about how much it costs to buy a house, but utilities, taxes, cable, groceries. I really want you to get an idea of what it's going to cost you if you're gonna live here in Rockville, Maryland. And I'm gonna divide it into chapters. So if you need to come back to something, or if you're out at your local grocery store and you wanna compare prices like apples to apples, literally, you can do that. I just wanna make it as easy as possible for you to get the best information you can. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Karen Gardner. I am a realtor here in Maryland and DC, and I try to do all the work for you so you can just decide where you wanna call home. If this is of interest to you, you may wanna subscribe and click that notification button so it'll let you know when new videos come out. Now let's just dive right in. So when I did my own Google search on cost of living for Rockville, Maryland, I wanted to see what you would see. And it came up with a bunch of websites with numbers and graphs. And although it gives you an idea of the expense compared to the national average, I didn't really feel like it gave you the idea of really what it costs to live here. So these websites are helpful, but I'm gonna go deeper than that. So let's start with a general overview of the housing costs. And then we're gonna go into, like I said, taxes, groceries, everything else. According to Realtor.com, the median sales price in the city of Rockville is approximately $550,000. Now they actually do a good job of dividing Rockville into four parts. In East Rockville, the median home price is $475,000. In Central Rockville, it's $635,000. In King Farm, it's $635,000 and in West Rockville, it's $727,000. Some of these neighborhoods will have an HOA like King Farm or Falls Mead that will run you around $100 to $120 a month. So just make sure you check a particular house that you're interested in if you're looking in the city of Rockville. And you can find some higher price points. There's new construction going on in Tower Oaks that'll run you about $1.5 million still within the city limits in case you're interested in that. And as for the rental market, according to Rent Cafe, you can rent an apartment for an average of $2,002. That'll be an apartment around 942 square feet. Full disclosure, I don't work in rentals, but if you need help, contact me. I will put you in touch with someone who does. So moving on to property taxes, because your mortgage may go away when you're done paying it off, but your property taxes never will. So every real estate property in Montgomery County is subject to taxation unless you are exempt. I was trying to think of the most interesting way to talk about property taxes without you falling asleep or boring you to tears. So I'm just gonna take a real property tax bill and I'm gonna go through it with you very briefly. If you want the full details and full transcript, look on my blog and I'll put the link for it below because I'll write everything out and I'll put it on there. So if I go too fast, you can just jump off and, and look on that. So every property is assessed every three years and your property taxes are based on your assessment. A lot of times you're gonna notice your assessment is a lot lower than your purchase price, which is good because it means you pay lower taxes. So if you're buying a house, don't get freaked out when you see the assessed value is a lot lower than the listing price. It's a good thing, trust me. Okay, so you can see on this property tax bill for a property in Rockville, Maryland, you've got a state property tax, a county property tax, and a Rockville property tax. And you can see the rates right next to it and then what the charge will turn out to be. The assessment that you see, the 585, 367, is the amount the property was assessed for. Like I said, it gets reassessed every three years. The other bills that you're gonna see on this property tax bill is a solid waste charge, which is in the city of Rockville. They'll do a leaf collection, which means when your leaves fall down, they schedule you a couple times in, the, in that season, and they'll come around on their trucks with the vacuum and vacuum the leaves up. You just have to put them to the curb, which is really nice. Then you have a Rockville refuse charge, which deals with your trash and recycling. The city of Rockville will take care of that for you as well. You just have to put your can trash cans out every Tuesday in the city of Rockville. Then you have a Rockville stormwater management fee, which is for the clean water requirements. And then you see we have a county property tax credit or the homestead credit. You have to live in the property for at least a year but then you will get a credit on your property taxes. I go into all this and more, like I said, on my blog. So feel free to hop on over there and read it in detail. You are billed twice a year for your property taxes, but most people who have a loan have their lender pay their taxes for them. So when you get that bill, you just kind of put it in your file. Don't worry about it because your lender's paying it every month on your behalf. 
but just check with your lender. Couple more tax things, then we're moving on, I promise. So as far as income tax, Montgomery County's income tax rate is 3.2%. City of Rockville does not charge something on top of that, they just take something from the county. You always have to check with your accountant when it comes to income taxes. And as far as sales tax, it's 6% here in Montgomery County and Rockville, same thing, 6% sales tax. Okay, moving on to utilities. Here in the city of Rockville, we have electric, natural gas, and oil, and a house can have any variation of all three of those. Also in the city of Rockville, you have an extra charge for your water and sewage. So I created this little chart, because in, in, in Maryland, in Montgomery County, when you sell a house, you actually have to disclose your utilities. It's kind of silly in my opinion because every family uses utilities differently. I like my house super cold all the time. Other people don't. So it just gives you an idea, but it's really, in my opinion, not, not, not so great because like I said, it's so relative. But I just took a random house and their utility disclosure and I put it on here for you to see. So you can just get an idea of their electric and gas for this home in Rockville. Now, if you do have oil instead of gas, which a lot of homes in Rockville and Potomac do, that'll run you in around $1,500 a year, just to give you just a ballpark number. And you won't have the gas, obviously. So this gives you a, an idea about utilities. If you want more information on that or more specific examples about different size houses, just contact me, I'm happy to go over it with you. And here's an example of a Rockville water and sewer bill. These are billed quarterly. And once again, it's all relative to how much water you use, how many people live in your house. And don't think that if you don't live in Rockville, you don't pay for water and sewage. You do. I'm just showing you what you pay for in the city of Rockville. Okay, so stick with me because we're going to get into your daily life between gas for your car to groceries to movies, everything. Okay. So for your groceries here in Rockville, Maryland, it's about 13% higher than the national average. So I decided to go to the grocery store and I'm just gonna show you a couple of things, a couple of staples, so you can see how it compares to where you live now. So let's head into Safeway, which is one of our local grocery stores here in Falls Grove in Rockville, Maryland. And we'll just take a look around. You can see what different things cost from bananas to apples, some different fruits, vegetables, I went and tried to find you organic chicken, non-organic chicken, some ground beef, eggs, and some milk. Just so you can get an idea of the different staples. I mean, you can compare them to where you live now to see if when you move here, if it's going to be more expensive or less expensive. Side note, alcohol when you buy at a liquor store in Montgomery County is taxed at 9%. Boo. And as for gas today in September 2021, for regular gas in Rockville, Maryland, it's $3.39. And for premium, it's $4.19. So let's talk about healthcare. Now, healthcare is very subjective, obviously, depending on your health and your age and whether you're employed or paying yourself. But it's good to know that Maryland ranks six out of all 50 states as far as healthcare. And you can see here the criteria for which they gave us this ranking. Here are some other charts that I pulled that shows you a little bit more about Maryland medical insurance statistics. But like I said, it is really relative to your personal situation. What are you gonna do for fun? We got great parks, recreation, movie theaters, IPIC. Fortunately, our parks here are free and we've got beautiful ones. My favorite, if you watch my videos, is the Billy Goat Trail at Great Falls National Park. You walk on the rocks, you look at the water, it's stunning. Movies here today in September 2021 will run you about $13 for an adult, $9 for a kid. Or if you want to go to our IPIC theater, that will run you $16.50 for an adult, $9 for a child. And perhaps most important, what are our costs for our internet and our TV? Because let's face it, it's important to have good high-speed internet and good quality. Here in the city of Rockville, you have several options. You have Verizon Fios, or you have different cable companies. I believe there's Xfinity or Cox. I'm sure there's a couple more companies as well. What I actually prefer to do is I get the highest speed Fios internet. And then for all my TV, both live and DVR, I use Hulu. It's an app and it's so much less expensive than the other choices. And I get everything I want whenever I want it. Once again, I'm gonna put all this information on my blog and here's the link again so you can see it if I went too fast. 
I hope this information was really useful to you so you can kind of really see what your cost of living would be here in Rockville, Maryland. I'm happy to do this for any part of Maryland or DC. Just put a comment below, tell me what your thoughts are, if I missed anything, if you wanna know anything else. And if you are thinking about moving to Maryland or DC and you like my help, my team and I, we'd love to help you and make it as seamless as possible. Call, email, text, morning, afternoon, night, We've got your back. And if you do enjoy these videos, please subscribe and tell your friends. I do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Bye.